Now, I want to talk about the Chinese visit to Australia. The Chinese Premier Li has been and gone. Cameron, the Chinese Premier left here, though, with no real breakthroughs uh, on the chokehold that they've got on our lobster industry and his officials bullied an Australian journalist at the same time. What do you think this visit achieved? Well, I, I think it showed us what China's really like. I think it shows us what communist China is really like. And thank goodness for Sky News to have the courage to put a journalist up like Chung Lei. I mean, she did exactly what journalists should do, which is get to the bottoms and get to the facts. And Sky News should be congratulated for that. And so should News Limited for carrying the story over the next couple of days as well. But what a disgrace. The Prime Minister, after the guy's left, complaints a complaint. It's just so typically weak of Albanese. And so contemptuous that you had a couple of embassy thugs in Australia's Parliament House decide they thought they could do what they do in China here in Australia. And our Prime Minister said nothing until after the fact. Um, it's contemptuous for Albanese because they see him not as a handsome boy, but as a weak boy. Absolutely spot on. Uh, but clumsy, he said, clumsy. And then ham-fisted, very stern uh, comments from Albanese there. Michael, was this even worth a visit? What did they achieve? Well, look, I've always argued that, um, you know, trade with China has to be mutually beneficial. We're, we're not here to receive uh, large yes from China. Uh, our goods and services are goods and services that are competitive and they're efficient. And if people want to buy them, they buy them on their merits. They don't buy it to buy our friendship or our support for their uh, undemocratic uh, political regime. The Chinese kleptocracy has shown consistently that it's only willing to trade where it's in their own political interest, not economic interest, political interest, and we just need to stand up to them. I thought that was pathetic and weak, and the government should have uh, made it very clear that they won't tolerate that sort of behaviour in Australia. No, certainly not. Now, Labor Senator Fatima Payman has called on the Albanese government to recognise a Palestinian state. In an opinion piece for Al Jazeera, she said the world has, quote, witnessed the mass killing and displacement of Palestinians and the devastation and destruction of Gaza. Cameron, how would you describe this sort of rhetoric? Well, and Fatima's gone far, far worse than that. She's accused Israel of genocide, which is just disgusting. Disgusting. Israel is defending its democratic right and the people who were slaughtered, raped and murdered by Hamas, a terrorist organisation. And yet we have this Labor senator that's still in the caucus. This Labor senator should mm. either resign or be sacked. One of those two options. Mm. She should not be able to say the things she said about Israel and survive. And Albo's weak leadership is the reason why she can get away with saying things like this time and time again in the Senate, on Al Jazeera, at the campus. Uh, Fatima doesn't deserve a place in the Labor Party after what she said about Israel. No, absolutely not. And we've seen this weak leadership time and time again when it comes to matters surrounding the Middle East. Michael, she's broken ranks here. Where is the leadership on this? Well, Cameron's right about this. Um, clearly, Albanese is very, very weak on this, and it's actually pathetic. And the fact that she wrote for Al Jazeera, you know, a week after it was um, indicated that Al Jazeera journalists were holding hostages uh, is even more uh, disgusting, in my view. Um, the fact of the matter is that uh, this person doesn't belong in the Labor Party. She should be suspended from the caucus immediately. And, um, you know, if the government doesn't do that, it's, uh, in a sense, condoning this sort of behaviour and the fact that she's writing for, you know, obviously the anti-Israeli press uh, uh, organisations. Very much so.